Welcome to the Dress on the School. Father, we thank you. We glorify your name. We magnify your name. We thank you for this opportunity. We thank you before you give us this time to learn from your word. Give us the next of understanding of your word in Jesus' name. Today we'll be talking on so the seven. And the topic of that throughout the so the seven is a Christian as living sacrifice. General introduction. Sacrifice is mostly understood in the killing of an animal as, as, as a part of a ceremony to honor God in the Old Testament. In today's context, it is symbolic of a living person dying to the things of the flesh. It is in this perspective that this study is structured on projecting God's word as the basis for living a sacrificial life, developing a strange love for God. Blessing others first and exercising self. And in that, we are in lesson one the basis for living a sacrificial life. And the text is Psalm 1 and Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 5 to 8. And the aim is to substantiate the basis for living a sacrificial life. Introduction Usman was an African traditionalist who later gave his life to Christ. Through discipleship, he learned the discipline of placing his total allegiance on Christ. Usman's spiritual growth reached the level that God's word influenced his conduct. As a result, he did not care about his personal comfort and convenience, but what would glorify God. Today's study will focus on the need for Christians to take the Bible as a basis for their life and conduct. Question 1. What is a sacrificial life? Sacrificial life is a study God's word to study God's word, live with us, and apply it in our daily life through one's conduct and behavior. In discussion question two, what are the things that make up a sacrificial life? Psalms one verse one to two, Jeremiah seventeen five. The person that does does not walk in the way of the sinful. The person that finds joy in the words of God and those who trust in the Lord, they are the one, they are, those are those things that make up a sacrificial life and many more. It's question, question three. Why is it difficult to live a sacrificial life? Mark to the 10, verse 20 to 22, James 1, 22 to 25. It is not difficult to live a sacrificial life, but we need the grace of God to live so, to live, to live such life without determination. Living a sacrificial life is difficult because many don't want to surrender all for Christ. Because many hear the word of God without obeying or do not act. In this question, question 4, what are the benefits of making God's word the basis for life and conduct? In Psalm chapter 1 verse, verse 3, and Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 7 to 8. And you, the person will be like a tree planted by the rivers of waters and be fruitful. So the, that is some of the benefits that the word of God have in the conduct of if we conduct our life to Christ. And the other one is whatever he does, he, he, whatever he does will work out well for him. Whatever you want, you will be prosperous and you will gain what you do. And the God will always bless the work of his hand. And God will come down to the man that trusts in the Lord. And there will be blessing from the Lord. So there are benefits of making God's work the basis of our life. And many more are still counting. So let's make God, God's work the basis of our life. So that in our conduct, in our activities, they will see Christ in us. This question, question five. How has the word of God influenced your life and conduct? The word of God has made me to always trust in the Lord. And you can see how the word of God, you can say on your own how the word of God has influenced your life and conduct. And the word of God has encouraged me to live a sacrificial life. To believe and surrender all 
to the Christ. Trust in the Lord and everything will be added to you. Though to live with the Lord is not easy. There is different there is persecution and there are different things that happen, but we have to believe in God. We have to trust in Him that what we are today is not by our wish but by His grace. The basis for living a sacrificial life is through the study of God's word and applying it to one's conduct. Those who have cultivated the discipline of living sacrificially through God's word have inherited blessings just like the tree that is planted by water that not dries up. A memory verse in Joshua 1 verse 8. This book of the law must not leave your mouth. Think about it day and night. So you may be careful to do all that is written in it. Then all will go well with you. You will receive many good things. That is the promise of the God of God in Joshua chapter 1 verse 8. So what are we waiting for? They made the word of God applying to us in our life and our conduct. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you.